Hi, my name is Chelsea Wang. Today, I am going to present our paper titled Towards Mutual Theory of Mind in Human-AI Interaction, How Language Reflects What Students Perceive About a Virtual Teaching Assistant. Conversational agents have become prevalent in many aspects of our daily lives. Many CAs are being integrated in online communities to offer informational and emotional support to community members. However, there are two unique challenges present when designing community-facing CAs. Community-facing CAs provide support through conversations with community members. However, users often have unrealistically high expectations that the CAs cannot meet. Without enough guidance and feedback on their mental models of the CA, users often have to revise and figure out the correct mental model of the CA through arbitrary trial and errors that often leads to user frustrations and conversation breakdowns. For community-facing CAs, every dyadic interaction is visible to the entire community, which means that unsatisfactory interaction with one individual might also frustrate the entire community. Prior research has also shown that when a conversational agent is situated in a community, the agent can have fluid social roles and expectations from community members over time. An open challenge in designing community-facing CAs is thus for the CAs to keep up with community's fluid expectations in the long run. However, humans are able to gracefully conduct smooth interactions with each other and behave according to a community's expectations and norms at the same time. How do we do it? This process is based on a uniquely human characteristic called theory of mind. Theory of mind is a basic cognitive and social characteristic that enables us to make conjectures about each other's minds through observable or latent behavioral and verbal cues. During social interactions, theory of mind spontaneously drives our understanding of how we are perceived by others, which enables us to employ social techniques to align others' perceptions about us based on our self-presentation. Mutual theory of mind, meaning all parties involved in interactions possess the theory of mind, enables us to build a shared expectation of each other through behavioral feedback, helping us to maintain constructive and coherent conversations. Can we build an analog of theory of mind into CAs to achieve mutual theory of mind in human-AI interactions? If CAs also have theory of mind like humans, CAs will be able to identify users' existing perceptions of the CAs and provide subtle behavioral and verbal cues to help users revise their mental models of the CA. CAs can also automatically detect communities' perceptions and expectations of them and behave accordingly. Designing towards mutual theory of mind in human-AI interaction thus could foster natural and prolonged conversations between humans and CAs. Drawing on the dynamics of human-human interactions, our paper explores a first step towards designing for mutual theory of mind in long-term human-CA interactions by investigating two research questions. First, how does a community's perception of a community-facing CA change over time? Second, how do linguistic markers of human-AI interaction reflect perceptions about the community-facing CA? Next, I will go through the high-level description of our research methods, findings, and implications. We examine these research questions within the context of online learning, where community-facing CAs are commonly seen to provide informational and social support to student communities. We deployed a community-facing question-answering CA named Joe Watson in an online class discussion forum to answer students' syllabus-related questions over the course of a semester. We collected students' bi-weekly self-reported perceptions and conversations with Joe Watson for further analysis. Both the survey measurement and linguistic features we chose were inspired by the Mutual Theory of Mind framework. We found that Joe Watson's perceived anthropomorphism and intelligence significantly changed over time, but perceived likability did not significantly vary in the long run. To examine whether linguistic markers can predict communities' perception about Joe Watson, we built linear regression models by using linguistic features as independent variables and perceptions as dependent variables. We found that verbosity, which measures how textually dense the content is, negatively associates with student perception of Joe Watson, whereas other features, such as adaptability, which measures how adaptive is Joe Watson's response to the student's questions, positively associates with student perceptions. 
In our paper, we discuss in detail about the implications of our findings, specifically on leveraging language analysis to facilitate human AI interactions, designing adaptive community facing conversational agents, and how future work can extend our findings to build towards mutual theory of mind in human AI interactions. We highly encourage you to check out our paper for more details. Thank you for listening. I will now take any questions you have.